Hey guys, so today I want to talk about Nash Greer because some things happened and we need to discuss those things because they're not okay. So if you're not caught up on the whole Nash Greer situation, basically what happened is a vine from his past reappeared somehow and it is him watching an HIV PSA and the person in the ad says HIV isn't just a gay issue to which Nash replies, yes it is fag and he screams fag very loudly and inappropriately at the screen. Clearly that's not an okay thing to do for so many reasons. So let's discuss the problems with what he did. First of all, <laughs> he was being a major dickhead. Um, you don't say fag to anyone. Ever. And also he's promoting the extremely false idea that HIV is only a gay issue, which is so wrong and dangerous because HIV is a serious issue that the world is trying to deal with right now and we're trying to spread awareness about it and then here we have this dumb teenager just telling people and his millions of fans that it's only a problem if you're gay which is wrong so after this whole problem had arisen Nash tweeted a thing saying sorry I was young I made a mistake uh, I know better now and I promote equality da -da 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 -da, stuff like that which is a step in the right direction, but that wasn't the appropriate response to what he did. I don't think he handled that correctly. He hasn't really apologized for anything correctly in the past year. He humiliated and hurt women with his what guys look for in girls video and he has just not done a lot of good stuff. And I realize that you know, people make mistakes, but if you don't handle the mistakes properly, I don't think you really deserve forgiveness. He's never actually addressed the issues to the same extent that he's presented the issues. He makes a like six minute video or something about what he looks for in girls and it's very offensive to women. Then he, I don't think he addressed it at all. All he did was take the video down, which is not as much as apologizing in a six minute video about what he said about women. And then with this, he says something that is so, so offensive to gay people and it's just very homophobic and there was just so much hate in that six second vine and I think the least he could do is make a video addressing what he did and talking about how he knows what he did was wrong instead of just making a little tweet. I personally felt that the tweet was not actually about the people he offended but about himself. I feel like he was trying to save his own ass and he didn't actually care about the people he offended. It was all about him just trying to maintain a good relationship with his fans. And that's not what you should do when you make a mistake, especially to such a broad audience like Nash did. When you apologize, you should be caring about the people that you wronged, not about yourself. I think we need to have a discussion about how we react to things like this because some of the reactions were not appropriate, and a lot of them were. I think the way Tyler Oakley addressed it was very important because he is a very big advocate for the LGBT community, and he addressed it like he should as a representative of that group. I think that kind of response is appropriate. But then we had people on the other hand saying he was just being young and stupid, and we all make mistakes. <sighs> Okay. Yes, I agree he was young and stupid when he made that, but he was also terribly ignorant and offensive and you shouldn't be excused for that kind of behavior. And I feel like teenagers of this generation are the most understanding about homosexuality and we are the most capable of understanding the effect that saying the word fag can have. Therefore, Nash Greer does not have his age as an excuse for being such an offensive douchebag. Defending him and saying that he was young and stupid or he didn't mean it or he apologized for it so let's just forget about it. That perpetuates this ignorance and offense toward homosexuality and gay people and it allows people to keep doing it because when people see other people getting away with saying things like this then it gives them this power to do the same because they feel like they can get away with it. We need to address this issue for what it really is, which is homophobia. And it doesn't matter if he doesn't think he's a homophobe. It doesn't matter if his fans don't think he's a homophobe. It doesn't matter 
if he says he promotes equality, what he did is homophobia, and it's not okay. He needs to seriously apologize for it. He needs to change himself. He's given me no reason to think that he's changed. He's given me no reason to think that he's not a homophobe. And I'm gonna continue thinking he's a dickhead homophobe until he proves me wrong. He can start proving me wrong by actually addressing what he did instead of just tweeting and saying sorry. People need to stop blindly defending the people they like because they're scared of being wrong and having a wrong first impression of someone. Not only is it a problem in social media and with things like this, but it can also lead to problems in close relationships you have with people. It just perpetuates ignorance and that's something that we need to stop. We need to educate people and we need to accept it when someone does something wrong and address it and say, yeah, I was wrong about that person. And then challenge them to change because that's how you make the world a better place. You make people who have done wrong things change and really redeem themselves, not by saying, you said sorry, so you're good. So the main thing I want to stress here is not that Nash Beer is a dickhead, not that the people defending him are idiots, but rather that when a problem arises and someone says something offensive, you need to call them out on it and you need to make them prove that they are changing and that they are revising themselves so that they never say something like that again. And I don't feel that Nash Beer has done that. And I feel like it's our duty to make him do that because we don't want people with as much power as he has with such a big audience walking around saying these things and then having people excuse it because you're part of the problem if you're excusing what he said. And that's not okay. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say in this video because I don't want to talk for another 20 minutes about this subject. But if you want to continue talking about it, you can put all your thoughts in the comments. All of them. You can literally write an essay and I will appreciate it because this is a very important topic and problem that we need to talk about if we want to fix anything. So yeah, uh, comment your thoughts and share this video and like it and do anything you want with it. Bye!